energy prices were under the spotlight throughout this parliament. Rising wholesale gas prices, higher transmission and distribution costs, and green levies imposed by the government all played their part in pushing prices up. Most of these are outside the control of the energy companies, but higher energy bills cut into household budgets and drove more people into fuel poverty. It was clear to us that few consumers were actively engaged in the energy market. In 2010, the big six controlled 98% of the domestic energy market. Consumers who regularly shopped around for better deals were in a minority compared with the tens of millions of sticky customers who rarely or never switched. The huge and complex range of tariffs on offer and the confusion about how to compare bills meant that even people who did switch were not always sure they were getting a better deal. As a result, we recommended that energy bills must be simplified. In 2013, our landmark report on energy prices, profits and poverty put the issue on the national agenda. While consumers struggled with rising energy costs, we criticised the energy companies and Ofgem for failing consumers by not increasing competition and not improving transparency. We argued that they should do far more to make sure profits were not excessive. Our report set the stage for energy prices to be top of the political agenda in the autumn of 2013. As public anxiety mounted, we called the energy companies into Parliament to explain themselves. Since then, there have been encouraging signs that the market is improving, as the industry, regulators and the political parties all start to take action. The number of consumers switching between energy companies spiked during the last quarter of 2013. And the market share of the small independent energy companies jumped from only 3% to 9%, its highest level for 15 years. Energy companies and Ofgem are now working on simplifying bills to make it easier to understand company costs and profits. While these are all positive signs, much more needs to be done to ensure that the market works in the best interests of all consumers. A lot now hinges on the findings of the Competition and Markets Authority inquiry, something the new Energy and Climate Change Committee will take a close interest in during the next Parliament.